But I'm here to introduce your first comedian for the night. You may have heard of him. It is Mr. Bill Hicks. How's everybody doing tonight? Woo! Oh, come on. How's everybody doing tonight out there at Preservation Park? Welcome to the second annual uh, Halloween All-Star Comedy Show. We have a, a bunch of uh, classic comics here to perform for you. I'll be your host for the evening. My name is Bill Hicks. Thanks. So I've warned I've come to know here in Knoxville. Yeah, appreciate it. It's always good to be here wherever I am. I always love it when I'm here. You know, it's amazing. You know, I've been on my uh, flying saucer tour the last uh, few months, which means that like flying saucers, I've been appearing in front of a handful of hillbillies lately. <laughs> no one doubts my existence. <laughs> I've noticed a certain any intellectualism going on around this country, man. Like I was, last week I was in Nashville, I went to a Waffle House. I'm not proud of it, but I was hungry. Yeah. And I'm sitting there and I'm eating, I'm alone, and I'm reading a book. Yeah, I'm, I'm alone, and I'm reading a book. Waitress comes up to me, what you reading for? It's like, wow, I've never been asked that. You know, not, not what am I reading, but what am I reading for? Well, shit, you stumped me, huh? Why do I read, you know? I guess I read for a lot of reasons, but one of the main ones is so I don't end up being a fucking waffle waitress. That's pretty high up on the list, I think. Yeah, then this trucker with the next booth stands up and he gets over me and he goes, Well, looks like we got ourselves a reader. <laughs> what the fuck's going on here, man? Like I walked into a Klan rally in a Boy George outfit or something. <laughs> Jesus. It's amazing. These small towns you go into, man. You go to some of these truck stops. Yeah, I'll take a large, you know, cup of coffee. Oh, you want the uh, 32 ounce of the large? Oh shit, how big is that large? Alright, you're gonna wanna pull your car around back. We're gonna start that pump. Jesus, I don't know if I wanna be awake that long in Tennessee, you know? You know, in certain troubled parts of our world, they're yelling revolution, revolution. In Tennessee, they're yelling evolution. We want our thumbs! So I uh, do smoke. Any other smokers? We're round of applause here tonight. Smokers, where are you? Wow, that's a lot of energy for your fuckers. Wow, that's, that's pretty amazing. You know, usually I just get... <laughs> yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, next time I need you, just rear back, hock a chunk of lung up towards the stage for me. Yeah, that'll be good. Worst kind of non-smokers are the ones that come up to you, they cough and at you, you know, like, <laughs> It's like, shit, man, you're like, you don't smoke. It's a hell of a cough you got there, man. I smoke all day, don't cough like that. Jesus. That is my big fear, though, doing smoking jokes, my act. Coming back five years later. Good evening, everybody. Remember me? Yeah, smoke is real bad for you. <laughs> yeah, ain't that creepy? Yeah. You've seen that, it's weird. So that's been going on, so I've been dead for about 20 years. Oh, I see you had another war in Iraq. Oh, with another President Bush. Ain't that interesting. Wow. <laughs> Who saw that coming? The Persian Gulf Distraction Part 2. Yeah. I mean, you gotta understand, those guys were in hog heaven out there, man. They had a big weapons catalog. What G12 do, Tommy? Paul well, says here, destroys everything but the fillings in their teeth. Helps us pay for the war effort. Well, shit, pull that one up. Pull up, G12, please. What's G13 do, man? <laughs> Weapons for all occasions. But yeah, the technology was pretty amazing. You know, it was pretty cool watching air missiles fly down an air vent. But couldn't we feasibly use that same technology to shoot food at hungry people? You know, like, there's a guy who needs that needs a banana. <laughs> Banana. Smart fruit. 
It's pretty amazing now looking at the disparity and the casualties of the war. Iraq, 150,000. USA, 79. Let's run through those numbers again because they're a little baffling at first. Iraq, 150,000. USA, 79. 79. Like really, 79? So I think if we had sent over 80 guys, you still would have won that fucking thing, or what? Like, <laughs> one guy in a ticker tape parade. I did it! Hey! You're welcome! <laughs> What'd you do, Tommy? I'm pulling up G12! Going <laughs> to the catalog! It was great! Alright, are you guys ready to get this Halloween show kicked off tonight? Yeah.